Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be taking a look at the GTX 970 at my previous video I have told you that I have got this graphics card from my guy from Facebook marketplace for 40 euros and I think it was a really good deal as I said on that video my intentions for this video is to take a look at the performance of this graphics card because this graphics card is released uh, back in 2014 I don't think he has ever opened this graphics card in order to clean it it doesn't seem like he has ever opened it before and uh, I'm actually curious to see how the thermal pace and the cooling is holding up even after all these years and so the thermal pace is actually how many is it? 9 years old? so we'll take a look at that and see how the temperatures perform and also how it performs in games and then after that we're going to clean the graphics card we're gonna tour, we're going to tear it up and hopefully it still works after that we're going to change the thermal paste unfortunately i'm not sure if this particular graphics card uses thermal pads but i don't have any replacements so we're still going to use the factory uh, the factory thermal pads that's my plan for today so let's start with the video Hello again. So let me tell you a little bit of a backstory on how I got this graphics card. So I was just randomly browsing on Facebook Marketplace like I usually do, just to see if there are any good deals. And suddenly this graphics card, the GTX 1070, came in to the to the store page. And I, I immediately contacted him because the GTX 970 for 50 euros is a pretty good deal. But <laughs> I am trying to save a little bit of money so I tried to bargain for 40 euros and he was kind enough to let him to sell me this graphics card for that price so I went to his place and he was actually really kind and I stumbled upon also another component the DDR3 RAMs that I showed you in the last video and I bought them too for a total of 50 euros so I bought this for 40 and 10 euros for the other component which are the RAMs and let's talk a little bit about the history of this graphics card so this graphics card has actually had quite a lot of controversy with it because Nvidia when it was released they said that this graphics card has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory well it actually does what you actually have is only the and half gigabytes of VRAM which uh, is running at 224 bit bus while the other 500 megabyte that is remaining is only running at 32 bit so that is way slower so what happens in games whenever you exceed three and a half gigabytes of vram the the performance just tanks it's just so bad it stutters and it's just not a good uh, day when you're running above that uh, above that limit but uh, when they released this they never said anything during the press release doing all the reviews thought it had 4 gigabytes of full gddr5 ram that is running at the specs that they are stated they stated at the, at the start but uh, days later people actually noticed and uh, it was not a good day for nvidia actually nvidia has lost a lawsuit because people were so angry that they got deceived and they actually filed the case against Nvidia and the people actually won so that's great as you can see there are so many games that has been released now like the US one is uh, The Last of Us that 8 gigabytes of VRAM graphics card is not even enough so 3.5 gigabytes is that going to work? I don't even know dude it's not it's not going to work it's probably going to work but at 360p with the uh, FSR2 so <laughs> really lo the lowest part of the barrel this GPU is manufactured by TSMC 28nm it has 5.2 million transistors and it has a die size of 400 millimeters and it is part of the 900 series family uh, the GTX 980, 980 Ti, 970, 960 and so on and it was released it was released back in 2014 can you remember at how much it's a 70 plus years remember 
Well, it was released for $329. <laughs> Can we go back? Can we go back? <laughs> right now, the 500 C no, the 70 series is 500 euros and even more. And the uh, there's rumor for the 40 4070 that's going to cost like 600 and 6 is go let's be honest, it's going to cost 700 euros here in Italy. It's just insane. This was released, yeah, there's inflation and all, but it's still, that's like, how many, 600, 300 euros more compared to what it was? It's just insane. And according to Tech Power Up, this graphics card, the base clock, the GPU, the 970, is running at 1050 MHz, and it has a boost clock of 1178. And 3.5, it has 4 GB of GDDR5 memory that is running at 7 gigabits per second. Hello, Ivan from the future again here. I forgot to mention, it has 1664 CUDA cores and it has a TDP of 148 watts. And uh, according to Tech Power Up, it only needs 300 watt of PSU. That's a really good efficiency. Much better than what we have now. <laughs> I mean, uh, considering when it was released, a 70 class series that only requires 300 watts of power for the PSU. It's not even possible today anymore, I think. And let's take a look at this graphics card. And in order to power this, we have an 8-pin power connector and a 6-pin power connector. So, I think that's all. This graphics card is pretty controversial. And I hope you enjoy. And let's take a look at this graphics card together. Let's gently remove my main graphics card. And then install the GTX 970. The first game we're going to look at is Fortnite. Well, I'm pretty surprised with the GTX 970 after all these years from 2014 and without cleaning the thermal paste, the temperature is pretty good actually. It's hovering around 60 degrees Celsius and the fan is not even that audible. So this model is pretty good. Look at that, 61 degrees. That's pretty good. That's even lower than my main graphics card now. And this cooler is pretty good. Look at that. It's running at 180 watts of power, but it's not even... It's not toasty at all. Pretty good. Let's take a look at Doom Eternal. Well, just like Fortnite, it's hovering around 60 degrees Celsius. And uh, FPS is actually not that bad for medium settings. It's around 60. Uh, the VRAM is almost full at 3.8 gigabytes of usage. Well, I think it's hindering the performance a little bit, but at least I'm still getting average of 60 FPS, uh, more or less. That's uh, good enough to play this game, but if you want to lower the settings, you can lower it. But just take a look at that. 62 degrees, 61, 60, that's pretty good. I only tested 3 games for this comparison since uh, it's only for the temperatures and see if the graphics card is working. And as you can see, it's working properly. In Formula 1, the GTX 1070 is hovering around 60 degrees just like all the other games. And the FPS is around 80. That's pretty good for a 2014, a almost 9 year old GPU. I'm quite impressed with the performance, at least for now. Later on, I will benchmark more games and uh, we'll see how it performs in 2023. After that being said, let's now proceed on cleaning and tearing down the GPU. Enjoy!
Now, let's take a look at the before and after. Well, examining these two clips right here, there wasn't much change really. The temperatures has dropped probably by a degree or two and the FPS is pretty similar so the GTX 970 even not being cleaned for 9 years is still holding up in terms of temperature and performance. That's uh, pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Jumping over to Doom Eternal, the result is pretty much the same. The temperature has dropped by 2 degrees, just like in Fortnite, and the FPS is really close, so I deem it as a tie. Just like Fortnite, the GTX 970's thermal performance has aged pretty well after all these years. I'm actually really surprised, because the thermal space when I was cleaning it was pretty dry and uh, it's like a cement, but apparently it's still dissipating heat just as good as it was before. And the last game I tested is F1 2022. Well, in this game, we actually have the exactly same average FPS and just a little bit better 1% loss on the cleaned version, but I really deem it pretty much high tie. The difference in temperatures from both of these clips is pretty much just 2 degrees or maybe 1. We have a tiny bit of improvement from the fan speed, but it's so small, I don't even think you can really notice it. But in the end, it's a bit better but not that much, but it's still an improvement, so we're accepting it. And the graphics card I think is pretty happy with what you've done. We've cleaned it and now it's a bit better. Just a tiny bit. To conclude, the cleaning process was pretty easy. I didn't find any tutorial on how to open the GTX 970 G1 Gaming from Gigabyte, but uh, I tried there just on the go. But fortunately, it was pretty easy to remove. To remove the PCB from the cooler, I just needed to remove like 6 screws and it was detachable. That's pretty good compared to what we have now, which takes like 10 to 12 or even more screws to get out. And in order to remove all, I think I have in total, I didn't count it, maybe less than 15 screws, more or less. That's pretty good. This version of the GTX 970 was pretty pleasurable to work with. The temperatures was actually low, like as you can see it was 60 degrees so I was actually quite surprised on how cool this GTX 970 was running. And so I thought maybe even after I clean it the temperature wouldn't change that much and that's actually the case. The temperatures has only dropped by 2 degrees and even sometimes 1. Fan speed is also a little bit lower but it's so small just like I said before it's, pre it's pretty much the same. And the performance, the frequency is also pretty similar so after cleaning it, uh, it didn't really change that much. But I'm quite glad that I did because it was uh, pretty dirty before and now it's it looks a little bit better and much cleaner and I think the GTX 1070 is pretty happy with this change. Thanks for watching the video everybody. I appreciate the support. Subscribe to not miss upcoming YouTube videos. If you have questions or suggestions or anything, just type it in the comments. I will reply when possible. Share this video if you know someone would want to see it. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel, take care and see you next time, bye!